So let's bring this up, and I'm going to show you a little bit of anatomy stuff. And then in addition, I'm going to grab my little mm -hmm. mini spine model here. That's okay. I'm used to that falling over all the time. <laughs> Usually take it out. So as you know, in between our spine, we have these discs, the disc, right? Yeah. Uh, in many cases, they kind of, they do this. They absorb the shock, uh, and they are a spacer for this nerve. You know, in your case, I think that what's happening is... This is coming out. A little bit. Yes. A little I, bit. I, 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 I had that MRI like 10 years ago, and was it? Yeah. And so the good news is that when we do this and we bend forward, we kind of ex we, we push that disc back. Uh -huh. That's why a lot of bending forward, and you're normally flexible, but right now when you bend forward, it does a little bit more of this, and it, your body's like, no, I don't want to do that anymore because mm -hmm. the pain will come on. When I have you engage your core... That's what uh, happens as well. It kind of like puts it's it kind of just pressure. puts pressure down. You know the importance of a strong core because that protects the back. But in this case, it's not that you're weak. You're not weak at all. The thing is that it's just an injury and it's overriding it. You know when you have pain, you go pick up something. Like, oh, that that hurts. Uh -huh. That's what's happening to you. In your case, you might have a little radiation of symptoms. Maybe it's kind of something like this where it's kind of like not pushing on the nerve, but it's just uh -huh. irritating it enough that you're like out most of the time uh we what we call this uh if we, we if we do this and we pop this and it kind of leaks over mm -hmm. we call that a herniation you're not having that mm -hmm. uh, that's why i ask those other questions this is pretty straightforward one of the things that were that you would potentially kind of experience in this case is just deep dull achy throbbing sometimes pain sometimes pain that goes across maybe gets a little better, gets a, mostly gets worse, and then af after activity, it gets a lot worse. Mm -hmm. um, the reason, you know, typically you'll have the pain in the morning is because at night, the disc naturally swells, and that's called um, imbibition, but natural swelling. And then when we have natural swelling, in addition to that compression, it increases the pressure. That's why I was like, I really want you to get good movement before, uh -huh. uh, because then when you go ahead and bend forward, you're doing this to a swollen disc. Got it. And then you're bending forward. That's why I was like, does it hurt to wash your face, brush your teeth? Um, you know, it, it doesn't matter how tall you are or not. Yeah. Yeah, you would happen to anybody at this point in case. Just the fact that you're taller means you have to bend a little further, which mm -hmm. adds more. a lot more compression to that. Got so it. we'll talk about what you can do and things like that, too. Um, so, and I'm sure, like, you know, without even touching you, you can just tell, like, it's going to be a little bit inflamed. When we have it hitting the nerves, you can kind of have it, like, radiate a little bit down to the side a little bit. The good news is it's not going all the way down the sciatic nerve, so I'm not yeah. too concerned. So, one thing that you did already was see a couple of chiropractors. Mm -hmm. They were adjusted you. You probably got a good pop to clicks. You probably felt a little achiness after that. Then after that, like, pain or discomfort goes away, you walk out of the office, like, I'm a little achy, but it feels a little better. And then, like, two hours later, it probably feels a lot better, and then it comes back the next day, and you're, like, a lot worse. That's what happened. Exactly. <laughs> so I see this every day, uh, which is why I'm telling you this. Uh -huh. um, in my opinion, personal opinion, it's beneficial to adjust somebody, mm -hmm. maybe a lot more lighter. Okay. Why? First of all, if I do the same thing that those chiropractors did, we're going to get the same result. Let's be honest, right? Uh, sure. Uh, so, if, so if you have that compression, what's going to happen is that that rotation is going to kind of like grind that disc around. It's going to add more irritation. So instead of just adjusting you, adjusting you, adjusting you, let's work a little bit of the soft tissue. Mm -hmm. Let's decompress it. I'm going to give you a rehab exercise that I can almost guarantee, can't guarantee anything, but I can almost guarantee that's going to help you. And you're going to have to just rep that out for this week. Uh -huh, sure. uh, it's going to be your pain relief exercise and then um, it'll help you reduce your pain so much faster uh -huh. than just dealing with I'll this sure. other stuff. I know you will. You're, <laughs> you're, and you know, you'll it, it, it decompresses. So if I do this, right, this is bending forward. I want you to do this and squeeze the back of there. Look what actually happens. Uh -huh. So extension, remember when I had you do this, decreases pain usually in when it, when it comes to the disc. When it's when it comes back to like something like back here or maybe something back here, it usually increases it. Uh -huh. But when it comes to the disc, bending back tends to end up doing better than bending forward, right, which yeah. is in this case absolutely true. Because I didn't need to go through more examination stuff. And that's why like bending your legs, stretching your hips, 
Um, like if I were going to stretch your hips, I would stretch like the inside, maybe the thighs, maybe the hip flexors. Hip flexors yeah. But you don't need to like stretch your hamstrings because that's going to be bending forward, and you probably couldn't even do that right uh-huh. now because it would yeah. hurt you so much. So, X out those hamstring stretches. Don't do the downward dogs. Don't do the upward uh-huh. dog. Like you know, don't do the that that type of stuff. The yoga flow stuff. Right now, we'll just get you stronger. That's what one of the chiropractors asked me to do. No, don't do it. I know, the pigeon pose. I was like, it's no, possible. Don't. Yeah. No, don't, because what you're doing is you're crossing the leg, which is fine to get uh-huh. the hip flexor, but then you're bending at bending. the spine, which is the same movement flexion that increases your pain. So anything that triggers your pain, uh, uh, coughing, sneezing, brushing your teeth, uh, washing your face, picking up a little puppy, I don't know if you're dog at home, but you know, I'm just coming up with something. Sure. There you go. Uh, anything that does that, we want to modify that right now. We don't want to say no to things. My goal is never to say no to exercise. It's to say yes to exercise, but get you back there mm-hmm. safely. Uh, because you've already had um, two chiropractors look at you, in my opinion, personally give you the wrong advice. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also, now they weren't wrong for adjusting you but they didn't give you anything at home to do either probably. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's, and that, and, and the at home exercise that they did give you is incorrect. Mm-hmm. So if I give you the same thing, it's going to not work. So let's try something a little different today. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I already know exactly what to go to. Um, sure. and so what we'll do is we're going to go out there in the rehab bay. Uh-huh. We'll do some, uh, testing a little bit more. Uh-huh. Your testing is your treatment and vice versa. And then we can adjust you uh-huh. uh, because then you have a, a, a good safety net. I had a patient yesterday with this exact condition come in. I told, I told him to do this, this stuff that we're going to tell you to do today. Came back three days later. He's like, you're right. He's like, I've been doing all the wrong things the whole time. Um, and I was like, yeah, I know. I was like, how are you feeling today? He's like, dude, I'm like 30% better in, awesome. in one session. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, that's all you need to do. Yeah. Um, I still adjusted him, uh-huh. but you have to do the work at home, and I already know you're going to uh-huh, do it. Of so most of my patients are honest uh, and do the work, uh-huh. and as you can tell, I'm straightforward about it. If you don't do the work, I could be the best adjuster in the world. It's not going to happen. Uh-huh. If somebody doesn't, I can't work out for you, is what you say to your clients, right? There's, a, there's only so much uh, good exercise you can give them if they just keep, keep eating poorly, too. Yeah, that's right? true. You know, so... Um, any questions about anything in the spine or anything no. like that? Mm-mm. Okay, so let's go out here. We'll we'll kind of play around with it, and we'll we'll get you back.